Hello, in this video we're going to log into WordPress, make a really simple WordPress web page and then save our, save our page and log back out again. Now to log in you add WP admin to the end of your URL and press enter, brings you to the login page. When we've logged in we're going to go to pages, add new and then we're going to click the visual editor tab and this, this is called a kitchen sink or the show all buttons button it shows some extra buttons that are not always displayed and when we finish we're going to log out publish our page and log out now if you get stuck or you forget what we've done just come back to the beginning of the video and watch these slides so we've logged into WordPress go to dashboard pages add new and we can type our page name here some text in there now the, to get started it's easier if you don't paste text in there if you um, type it in by hand it just makes it a little bit easier one thing you've got to remember you see how these here you'd think that headline there you would think you're able to highlight that and turn it into a headline but if you do that the whole thing turns into a headline and the reason is it's not on its own pattern it's not on its own line so Go back there. Don't press Shift Enter. Press the Enter key. So there'll be a big gap between one thing and the next. With list items, it's the same. You've got to press the Enter key. So it looks like there's quite a big gap between them. Um, if you don't do that, if you press Shift Enter, the, the formatting will all mess up. So this is a list. These are four list items with a, a en Enter key between each item. Um, and we just highlight the items, press bulleted, bulleted list. It's just like making a um, a word processor document. If you think something's got a bit of a big gap like that, just try closing it, see if it'll work. Now we can do this headline because I've put the I put an enter between them instead of shift enter. So now in that paragraph there, we we'll look for heading three or whichever size heading we want. This is another heading. So if we do the same with that heading. There's, there's just a line break between these two, not the enter key, just a line break. And so if we try to make that into a headline, the whole thing becomes a headline. So what we've got to do, instead of pressing shift enter, press the enter key. It gives you a big gap between the two things. And then WordPress knows that it's, um, it's a separate item. And there's a bit here just want to a line at the bottom there right so now we've got headlines paragraph you don't have to do anything with paragraphs text will automatically be um, assigned as paragraphs unless you use a button to make them into something else now I'm going to add a link so what I want to do is go to google.com because I just want something to link to so when you add a link you need the URL of the page you're going to link to in this case I'm going to link to Google so I'll go back to my web page and there it says I use Google so I want to link to Google now here where it says insert link you highlight the text just click the link button and now I just paste my uh, the code I've just copied I'll paste it in there so that's Google you can type something in there if you want Now, with this box here, you can open it in a new window. You can open the link in a new window if you want to, or a new tab. If you if you're using if you're linking to a page on your own website, don't click this. But if it's an outside link, I like to Google. Click the link. Click Add Link, and now we've got. We'll just update our page. We'll publish it first. The big blue Publish button. I'll close that Google tab there. So now here there's a button that says view page. If we view the page, we'll view it in our web browser. This is the page we've just made. And at the bottom there's a link to Google. And there it is. And it's open in a new page or a new tab. Now to get back to our website, just view any page on your website, whichever page you want to view. 
And as you're viewing the page, you'll see, if you're logged in, you'll see the edit page button there, and at the bottom of the page, there's edit page there. Now, you will only see these edit buttons if you're logged into your website when you're actually viewing the website at the same time. No, no one else can see them, only people who are logged in, which is you. So click the edit button, view your page, click edit button, and you can make more, more changes. Uh, in another video, I'll add media. To add a, a picture to your page, you just click in the page and add this button. But there's quite a lot of options with adding, um, we're called adding media to your pages. Anyway, when you've finished, don't forget to log out. So hover your mouse over the Howdy button there and click log out. And that's it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.